Tonight we're talking pattern of masks. What are they? What do we use them for? And how could you use them to improve your astrophotography? Let's do this. Hi everybody, welcome back to another Astro Exploring video. My name is Nick and today I'm going to be talking to you about Batonov masks and how we use them in astrophotography. So before I go through step by step showing you how to use a Batonov mask, I'm going to tell you what a Batonov mask actually is and why we use them. So a Batonov mask is essentially a tool that we use in astrophotography to achieve pinpoint precision focus of stars every single time. Now how does it do that? You place this on the end of your telescope and the uh, lines here will create diffraction spikes on a bright star. And essentially it's gonna create an X and then an extra line in the middle. And the middle line, we want to be in the middle of that X. And when that line is in the middle of the X, we have pinpoint focus every single time. Now, is a Batonov mask the best way to achieve focus? Um, I don't know about the best way, but it's probably the cheapest and easiest way. Well, the cheapest way being just using a live view on the back of your DSLR or on the or laptop screen. Um, but this one costs £16. They do get more expensive the bigger your telescope is, but even then you're still talking less than 30 quid. So um, this is an absolute bargain and something that you should absolutely have in your arsenal for astrophotography. It is so much easier to use a Batonov mask than it is to use the live view of a DSLR, which is what I've been doing for the past two years. And to test just how good a Batonov mask is, I've actually been achieving focus on the live view of my camera um, to what I thought was focused optimally. And then I've been placing this over the end of my telescope and realizing that I'm actually slightly off focus. And that re it really does make all of the difference. And the images that I've been producing since I've been using this, I would say are of much better quality. Now achieving focus with a Batonov mask could not be easier. And it is so easy that I am gonna show you how to do it in less than 60 seconds. So let's put a timer on the board and get going. So all I'm gonna do now that I've centered that on the live view of my camera is pop the Batonov mask on the end of my telescope like so. Come back to the live screen of my camera and this will probably be in focus from the last time I used it. And then we are going to zoom in on the 10 times zoom. You see these spikes? Okay, so that is actually focused from last time because you can see the spikes in the middle. So if I zoom out, you see that that's now moving towards the other spike and if I come back that is back in the center go further than that you can see and um, so we are focused pretty much there go back to the live screen zoom in and that's focused in less than 60 seconds and now that we're focused don't forget to tighten up the locking screw on your focuser because having a camera hanging off the back of it might uh, make it slip during the night and also most importantly don't forget to remove your batten off mask because that will ruin your entire imaging session so as you've seen a batten off mask is a fairly simple bit of kit but it is really powerful and can really speed up and improve your setting up time and also most importantly improve your images so that your focus is pinpoint every single time and if you've made it this far into the video congratulations please do hit like and subscribe to the channel make sure you hit the bell notification so that you never miss another upload my name is nick and this has been astro exploring i'll catch you guys next time